On this adventure, we're driving to the heart of the Washita Mountains in Odin, Arkansas, staying at the Riverview Cabins and canoeing the Washita River. We're also going to check out parts of the Womble Trail. Good morning, friends. We are eating some breakfast. We've got some muffins that I picked up at our local grocery store. This one fell apart, so that's why it looks a mess on my plate. But I had an excellent sleep last night. How'd you sleep? I'm still looking at my muffin. What the heck, dude? I cut it in half so that we can share it all. Oh, they're all different got, kinds. Gotcha. Got, okay, I'm picking it. There's like been poppy done. seed, cappuccino, lemon, and this is supposed to be a mixed berry. All right, then. Okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, I slept great. I slept mm -hmm. great. We are going to show you these lovely cabins later. And we kind of wanted to do this vlog to let people know that um, maybe your significant other wants to get out in nature but doesn't want to camp yet. Um, you could bring them to these cabins. They're very, very nice. It's secluded. We're surrounded by trees. And we're right next to the Washita River. Uh, there's also a lot of things to do around here. Um, mountain biking, canoeing. They do rent, do canoe rentals here. Mm -hmm. So... Our last name is Odin, O-D-E-N. Not very many Odins around. We're in Odin, Arkansas, O-D-E-N. Mm -hmm. Named after my great-great-grandfather. And population's like 232 people. Really? I don't know if, I don't know if it's named after <laughs> We us. don't know. It's just crazy. But I think we're going to smash these. Yep, drink our coffee. Drink our coffee, yeah. And then we'll see you back at the tour for the cabin that we're in. Now we're going to give you a tour of this cabin. This is the Gone Fishing Cabin. And it is a two-bedroom, two-bathroom, living room with a fireplace, full kitchen with dishes and cutlery, and a jacuzzi outside. All right, so we are checking in at the cabins right now, and this was behind the counter. Look at this. Massive. So pretty. So we're going to give you guys a tour of this uh, campground area. Uh, there's also some bunk houses right up here that I want to talk to you about because and apparently there's horses here too <laughs> um, but the bunk houses there's like 56 beds there's showers bathrooms and a full kitchen in there so if you want to just maybe do mountain bike the Womble Trail and you just need somewhere to crash for the night this is gonna be really awesome they're in the process of redoing it right now so I can't really go in and give you a tour but I can show you what the outside looks like and with that they're also under new management as of this year and they're trying to really clean up a lot around here redo some stuff and that's why they're changing up the bunk houses so let's check it out so this is the bunk house this is the screened in patio porch area of it which we're not going to go inside because they're in the process of redoing painting everything like that this is going to be a little hangout area with picnic tables uh, once you walk in past here, there's actually a kitchen with two refrigerators and two stove rain oven ranges. So it's pretty big. A lot of people are in there and you want to cook. Uh, it's separated into two separate sides. So you'll have, it's like a hostel. You'll have bunks on this side with three stalls and three showers. And then around the other side, same concept with the bunk beds and then the showers. So it's gonna be, it is like a hostel area, I'm thinking. Um, if you just wanna come and crash for the night, I think this is a really good idea. We are on a buffalo canoe. This is a little different because we usually kayak most of the time. And this cute little bullfrog jumped in the boat with us. Right there. Actually, I don't think it's a bullfrog, I think it's a tree frog. Hey, buddy. The section of the Washita River that we're doing today is about four miles and we put in at the Shirley Recreational Area, daytime use only area. And ooh, those rocks are pretty. Oh, by the way, we uh, have life jackets. They're required where you just live on the edge. Obviously, we're not wearing them. Um, and we're going to take out where? I forgot. Odin Bridge. Oh, at our bridge. We're going to take out at our, our bridge, bridge. The Odin Bridge. Um, and it should take us, what, roughly about two hours? Two hours from Shirley Creek right yeah. there to Odin Bridge. We chose a fairly short route because we got started about 1.30. And, you know, of course, this time of year it gets dark pretty early, so we didn't want to be stuck out here in the dark. Um, but check out this rock formation. This is cool. 
gorgeous. So in our one of our most recent vlogs, we kind of gave you an overview of what we would take when we go kayak camping. This would be a perfect spot to put your tent up. You've got soft ground and the sunshine feels really nice right here. Um, also, side note, I think we're gonna talk about kayak camping the Washita River this year. We're gonna fit that in. We are stopped along another beach. This is a really big rock beach. Man, look at the rock outcrops over here. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is another good spot to put a tent. Um, up there is more sand. So if you wanted a flat surface and it's level. But this is so pretty right here. The water's a little more bluer here, I guess, because of the rapids. It's cleaning out a lot of the dirt. And the reason it has dirt to begin with is they just had a flood. Oh yeah, this was in flood stage when, Tuesday? Yeah, so that's why the water's a little brown. Usually the water's really like turquoise blue. But with all the rain we're gonna have this year, it'll probably always be in flood stage at some point. Well, our trip's coming to an end here on this river, which is very beautiful. I'm impressed. And I'm just gonna give you guys this last little rapid here. The shoes I have on are neoprene. Is that what's called neoprene? They're neoprene. And every year I have struggled with kayaking this time of year when it's chilly because water boots just don't cut it for me. Well, I was like, I'm gonna wait till the end of the trip to test my shoes out because this is the first time I've worn them. And let me tell you what, submerged and they are dry. And they're not even cold because in water boots, my feet would freeze and I hated wearing them. So this totally is a game changer. They're neoprene water kayaking shoes and I got them off of Amazon. So I will put that link below for you guys. Hey, hey, we are back in the cabin. We had a blast on the river. We want to thank Poncho for mm -hmm. shuttling us. He's an amazing guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, Lisa, thanks for all the information. Mm -hmm. We really liked the shuttle. The canoe trip was awesome. Yeah. And it's right there. We, yeah. we finished right there. Yeah, the bridge, the bridge is right there, and mm -hmm. we were here. I think what was The it? drive was not even a minute. Yeah. Like, yeah, really, less than a minute. Yeah. But we are going to take a walk down to the river from here. So let's go check it out. This place is really amazing. Yeah. I'm really I'm really digging it here. Yeah. Just the whole area. Even if we, you know, don't stay in a cabin next time we come up here. It's just this river is just outstanding. I'm very impressed. Yeah. Like we said. Like this view right here is so pretty. Yeah. That is gorgeous. So like we're saying if if you have a significant other that wants to go they don't like camping but you want to get if them you outdoors. Me 10 years ago. Yeah. Uh, just take them to this cabin, do a little canoe. If she likes mountain biking, or he, mountain bike, you know, whatever. But I think this would be a good starter. 
So for tonight's meal, I'm going to make baked crunchy tacos. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to brown some meat. I'm going to add in some salsa, some cheese, put it in the shell. Uh, what else? I don't know. I can't really remember. It's been a while since I made this, but it's pretty easy and it's delicious. So I'm going to get started. <laughs> We are gonna enjoy the rest of this evening. And we'll catch you in the AM. Just got up. Kelly's about to cook. What are you cooking? Good morning. I'm gonna cook a blackberry Danish. What's that entail? <clears throat> a Danish is like a croissant bread with like a cream cheese mixture, and then I'm gonna put blackberries in it. Oh. I don't really know how to do that, so. Well, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'll I'll, I'll help you just out. Have to be my sous chef. I'll just be the sous chef. We really have been enjoying this cabin. It's actually our last day here. It's it's a big place. So let's get cracking on some food. I'm starving. All right, friends, we are gonna say goodbye to this beautiful cabin. It was a great retreat for the weekend, but we have another adventure today. We are about to head to the Wumble Trail, which is, I think, a five minute drive from here. Mm -hmm. And it's we, a mountain biking trail. Mountain biking, hiking trail. Yeah. So we're, we'll see you there. Yeah, see ya. The section that we're on right now. So you start way up there, I don't know if you can see where it's cleared out, and then it loops around, and then our Hummer's up there, and there's a road up there. I would, we didn't have to put it in four-wheel drive at all the entire time, <laughs> uh, but it was pretty sketchy because it was up the side of the mountain. But yeah, it's an off-road trail. Here's a trail here. And this is hiking and mountain biking. And how many miles of this trail is there, Cody, do you know? Uh, the Womble Trail is 35 and a half miles. Yeah, so. We went, did something a little different than what we normally do, but we want to share with everybody that there are other ways to get out in nature if you don't want to camp or um, if you don't own a kayak. I enjoyed everything. We want to mm -hmm. thank Lisa and Poncho with Riverview Cabins mm -hmm. and Canoe Rental. They yep. did a great job. We loved everything. They did. Yeah, and we'll make sure to put all the information for the cabin below in the description of this vlog. And uh, I know the Womble Trail was a little short, but we just wanted to show you that there is another option for mountain biking in this area or hiking as well. She's with cold. the Womble Trail. Yeah, I'm freezing to death right now. <laughs> it's really cold on top of this mountain. Um, so, yeah. yeah, but if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit the notification bell so that you know exactly when our next video is going to come out. And subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. Really appreciate it. Yep. And, and we will catch you on the other. Yep.